Here's my audience. All right, so my name is Emily Hart, and I will be talking about the environment for my last lecture speech. Today, I want to talk about a couple things. I want to talk about pollution. I want to talk about what kinds of pollution there are that are affecting our environment. And I also want to talk about things that can prevent the environment from becoming so bad. <laughs> Okay, so one thing in my life that I'm very passionate about is the importance of helping the environment by not littering and also the limiting the use of plastic in our everyday life. I've been seeing article after article on the internet about how um, we're destroying our earth by all of the plastic and all of the non-biodegradable things that we use on an everyday basis. That, and also the air pollution that we are admitting to the atmosphere, which is thinning our... Um, ozone. The physical products like the plastic straws, the plastic bags, the wrappers and the bottles especially are going into our oceans and affecting our sea life like our sea turtles, our sea birds like our fish, our big whales, our beautiful um, reefs are also dying out because of all the pollution and the um, warming of the waters caused by the pollution. Um, I want to show you a few pictures quick of how um, horrible the plastic and non-biodegradable um, things can be for the environment. So, first off, this is a wrapper that you can get like drinks in, like the plastic around it. This turtle has had his shell deformed because of that around him. Now that is not healthy for any animal in the oceans, whether it's in the oceans or on land, it's horrible for them and it's deforming our animals. That is horrible. The next thing I wanna show is, this is a beach in, I'm not sure where it is, but this is a beach and all of that is plastic and non-biodegradable um, pollution that is also just like making our beaches and um, oceans just look disgusting. This is a bird that um, you can see the, like the um, contents of its stomach after it died. And that's all things that we could have prevented. It has a couple like buttons even in there and some like cigarette butts, which is, those are one thing that people don't really realize that are horrible for the environment because they just Oh, like, I'll smoke this, and then I'll throw it out the window, and I'll never see it again. Oh, it'll, it'll, um, uh, it'll disappear in nowhere, and it'll just go into the earth and be good for it. Actually, the animals and all of the things that are live in the environment and the oceans, even, eat those things, and it kills them because it is um, non-organic and not something that they can eat, and they think it's food, and it kills them. Another thing I want to talk about is air pollution. I know a lot of people don't really realize this is like, because you can't really like technically see it, but um, like the ex exhaust from our cars has had a really big change on our um, um, ozone and also our big factories that um, admit a lot of toxic um, gases into the air, which here's a picture of both of them. Here is some cars with some exhaust, and here is a big factory with exhaust in it also. Um, I want to share some tips with you um, that a person could do on an everyday basis that will help in, improve the environment and be less um, invasive for our animals. One thing is use metal or paper paper straws. I know a lot of places already, especially on the coast, have been um, banning paper sh or um, plastic straws because it is so bad for the environment and so bad for the sea life that they think it's food and they eat it and choke on it and die. Um, another thing I want to um, include is avoid using one-time use plastic water bottles or like and bring like your own like it could still be plastic but it should be like reusable. You can bring it to work, you can bring it to the gym instead of getting like a quick like smart water bottle. You could get a you could bring your own and it would be a lot better for the environment. Um I also think that walking and biking and using um 
using uh, public transportation is a lot better for our air pollution because um, you don't admit those gases like you would if you were using a car or a I don't know a bus I don't I'm not I don't know um, another thing is be mindful of what you throw in the trash it may be recyclable or it could be like in the compost I know a lot of people who have compost where I live they um, a compost is where you put like old vegetables and old things that are biodegradable and put them all together and then you can use it for like um, fertilizer for your garden so you can make your own food and so you don't have to waste the plastic and the gas and all that stuff to go to a grocery store and use that. The last thing I want to talk about is how the methane from cows, I'm not saying go vegan or vegetarian because I know that's obviously not going to happen, but um, cows emit methane gas which is a greenhouse gas. Um, Choosing a vegetarian or vegan diet will not solve all of these issues, obviously. Vegetables do have a lower carbon footprint than and nutritional value when compared to beef. So it is a very it can be obviously we God created cows for our food, but there's also other ways that we could be using them in more effective ways instead of having so many of them. Okay, so for the conclusion. Overall, the one thing I'm very passionate about is the environment. I believe that everyone plays a big part in helping create a better and, and healthier environment um, by doing just the small things like not using a plastic straw. For example, I have this, which is a metable portal straw. Uh, this is the, I bought like three of them in a pack for um, Amazon. And if it would just come out of here, here we go. This is the metal straw that I use when I go to fast food restaurants or I'm out on the, in out and about like and I they offer me a plastic straw. I say, nope, I already have one. Don't worry about it. Um, this is a from a brand called Fundia. They're I'm not really sure, but I got them on Amazon and it's really helpful and I also believe that it's helping save the environment one straw at a time. Um, if I had to choose one one thing in the whole world to talk about, and for my last lecture, it would be to help others understand and know more about the how to save the environment and things that will help um, the environment. Thank you. Okay, yeah. here is my audience again. Woohoo! Okay, thank you. <laughs>